And it's still a live coverage of the Enough is Enough demonstration that's a national one organized by the National Democratic Congress, NDC, uh, ongoing currently, and we're giving you a live coverage of it. Let's co cross over to the northern region. Dibaba uh, is representing Metro TV there and comes through with updates. Um, Dibaba, thank you for your time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ani. Right. So um, tell us exactly what's happening also in the northern part of the country as far as this demonstration is concerned. Well, thank you so much, Ani. Uh, the northern regional demonstration delayed a bit because uh, there was a heavy rain earlier in, uh, early in the morning. And uh, they delayed. They started somewhere 9 to 10 o'clock. And as we speak, they have uh, run around all the principal streets of Tamale, and they are now headed towards the Electoral Commission's office. And currently, I am currently at the Electoral Commission's office, where police officers have taken over all the uh, uh, routes leading to the regional office. According to them, they don't want the uh, protesters to get to the EC office. But I am anticipating dis disturbances because the protesters are saying they will not present their petition to the uh, Electoral Commission at the uh, police headquarters mm -hmm. where the Electoral Commission's regional of, uh, 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 director is going to receive the petition of the NDC from the northern region. But the protesters are saying they won't agree to that. And as a matter of fact, uh, the, protesters, the protest is a very massive one because uh, they, the organizers themselves were not expecting the people to be many like that. But as we speak, uh, the crowd is too much. Uh, they are almost uh, on all the principal streets of Tamale protesting against the Electoral Commission of Ghana. In fact, it is part of the nationwide demonstra demonstration against uh, the Electoral Commission. So as we are speaking, uh, there are so uh, about two water cannon, uh, police water cannon uh, cars uh, protecting the Electoral Commission in the northern region. And as a matter of fact, the security uh, or security is very tight at the police. But many of the protesters are telling us that they won't agree or they won't allow their petition to be put, presented to the Electoral Commission at the junction of the uh, police headquarters because they want to reach the Electoral Commission's office. In fact, the whole place has been taken over by uh, security personnel. Well, um, um, Deepa, let, let me just read this letter uh, to you. It actually was a memorandum and it was from the Deputy Chairman Operations to the Regional <laughs> Directors of all district offices, 16th of September, 2024. It reads, I bring you warm greetings from the commission and trust that this memo finds you well. Uh, as you may be aware, the National Democratic Congress NDC planned demonstration will take place tomorrow, Tuesday, 17th of September, 2024. As publicized by the organizers, uh, the demonstrators may submit the petition at the regional direct, uh, the regional and district offices of the commission as well. So this memo therefore comes to request all regional directors and district officers to receive the petition on behalf of the commission. Please, upon receipt of the petition, do not make any remarks, but rather inform them that you would forward their petition to the commission. Please take note and act accordingly. Thank you. It is signed by Samuel Tete, Deputy Chairman, Operations, uh, Corporate Chairperson, Deputy Chairman, Corporate Affairs. This is from the Electoral Commission. Is the police aware of this notice? And they are saying that they still will stop the demonstrators from going to the offices of the directors? Yes. Uh, like you rightly mentioned, uh, the, the party is saying that uh, they were asked to present their petition to the regional office. But uh, the police intelligence of the region are saying that uh, letting or allowing the protesters to get to the EC office will not be helpful. For that matter, they are going to present the petition or they are going, they are sending, as we are speaking, I'm work, working with the regional uh, police commander and his team, including the regional EC director, to the uh, police headquarters junction because according to them, if the protesters are allowed to the regional office, the possibility of disturbances at the audience at the police or uh, EC head office is, uh, is something that uh, they are foreseeing. And for that matter, they don't want any protester to go near the Electoral Commission's office in the northern region. So that is what is happening. And the protesters are saying they are not going to allow that. But uh, uh, the police uh, have brought the regional EC boss to the junction to, to, for the uh, 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 petition to be presented to the EC boss. Dibaba, if you can describe, uh, you know, the protesters, how wild are they and how serious are they, uh, you know, bent on sending their petition to the EC regional uh, directorate? 
Well, uh, as a matter of fact, coming out to watch or coming out to, to, to follow these demonstrators around, I realized that it's like people are very angry and they are burning ties even in front of the police vehicle. Uh, they have, they have uh, started burning ties, like I'm saying, and the police are calling for reinforcement as we speak because they believe that if they get to the EC office, but the way they are burning the ties on the streets of Tamale is going to be something chaotic and for that matter, they won't allow that to happen. And uh, I could also see that many old elderly people were part of the demonstration, mm -hmm. which sends a, a signal that many people or many residents of the area are angry for what the Electoral Commission is doing or uh, the, uh, for the denial of the Electoral Commission to allow for the forensic uh, uh, exercise to be conducted on the register. And many young people are also part of the demonstration. But as a matter of fact, the, 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 the younger people are very, uh, they seem very violent. And for that matter, the police are not really comfortable with some of the behaviors of the young people and that is why they don't want them to come close to the EC office. And like I am saying, I am foreseeing disturbances because the people are saying they will not present the petition to the EC officer at the junction. They have to get to the office. And the police are also saying that they are not going to allow them get to the police, uh, the EC office. So as a matter of fact, uh, uh, I am not feeling comfortable about the development that is coming up mm. because uh, the people are saying they won't allow the petition to be taken at the junction and the police are also saying they won't also allow them to go to the office. Like I am saying, currently, they have started burning ties in front of the police uh, water cannon vehicle and the police are well prepared uh, uh, to, to, to deal with anybody uh, that is going to cause any mayhem at the place. But as a matter of fact, they have started so we are waiting to see how it is there. It, 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 it therefore uh, confirms why the, the police will need reinforcement, even from your observation that you're anticipating chaotic scenes in the end of the protest. Yes, most definitely, because they have started burning the ties not uh, from the EC office. They have started burning the ties right from the way go till uh, the point uh, the police stopped them from going into the EC office. And they are still burning the ties, saying they are not going to allow any poli police officer to intimidate them. According to them, what they are seeing is a clear intimidation by the Ghana Police Service. And for that matter, they are not going to allow that. And the police are also saying that they are not preventing them, but the fact is that some of them are too violent to the extent that if they allow them to the EC office, they may burn the office. And for that matter, they are not also allowing them. So that is the situation we have found ourselves. We are in the middle of the police as we speak, and the protesters are also saying they are presenting the petition at the EC office and not at the police headquarters junction. Dear Baba, kindly uh, keep faith uh, with these uh, demonstrators and come through with some updates and more. Uh, that is uh, Dear Baba coming through from the northern region and letting us know exactly what's happening with the demonstration. And, uh, and the, the, the videos that you have on the screens uh, are videos or SFs of the demonstration in the northern part of the country. Remember that the NDC is saying that it's a national demonstration and uh, all the party supporters are doing this and they are sending the petition to the district offices of the Electoral Commission. And if uh, you're very new to this demonstration and you probably don't know why this is happening, the NDC has raised concerns on the uh, register, uh, the register that was actually, uh, you know, compiled by Electoral Commission and they're expecting for the Electoral Commission to allow for uh, some audits to be done on the register and the IT system being used by the Electoral Commission because they suspect manipulation. Hence, this demonstration, since the Electoral Commission has refused to heed to the calls. Let's go to the Upper West.